This video will demonstrate adding a rubric in Talon and then applying that rubric to a grade item and or an assignment. So to start, we'll go to Course Admin and then we'll go to Rubrics and then I'm going to come up here and click on New Rubric. And we'll call this one Cat Assignment Rubric. The next option here is the rubric status. This can be in draft status as you're editing it. Um, you will have to put it in published in order to apply it to assignments or grade items. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it to publish mode right now. The other option here is archived, uh, which is for when you're all done using the rubric. You don't want it anymore. You actually can't delete rubrics um, once they've been applied to something in the class. You can archive them. The description is optional. I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. Now we're coming down here to the rubric type, which can be analytic or holistic. Um, the difference is here, the analytic rubric is probably the one that's more commonly used. That one, you're going to have a list of criteria and you're going to be evaluating based on those individual criteria. So you might be ranking spelling and grammar as one criterion and um, articulation of your writing as another criterion and you're analyzing those separately. Whereas the holistic rubric, you're, you have a list of criteria, but you're actually only looking at it from an overall perspective. You don't actually evaluate the criteria separately. You can set the number of levels. For this one, we'll just do a three by three for simplicity purposes. And now you can choose the scoring method. There are three options for scoring methods here. The first one being text only, which means no points will be assigned at all. So you can um, just choose the levels of the rubric for the students and then the students will see the rubric, but there won't be any points assigned to it. Um, you can also choose points or custom points. The points option will actually weigh all of the criteria the same. Um, so you'll have three levels, three criteria, and each one, like the, the first level will maybe all be worth three points, second level two points, and one point for each of those criteria. Whereas custom points, you can actually customize that certain criteria may be weighted more than others. So um, if you want, if you're not all of your criteria are gonna be worth the same, you're gonna wanna choose the custom points there. We'll just do points for this example. You can also hide the scores from student view. Um, so if you're kind of calculating something from the rubric, but you don't want students to actually see the scores for the rubric, um, and you just want them to see maybe the overall score, then you can actually hide scores from student views, but still calculate a score on the back end. And you're definitely gonna need this box checked, allow new associations and competencies. This will allow you to apply this rubric to more than one item. So we'll save this. And then we'll come in here and we'll edit the levels and criteria. And uh, this is a pretty simple editing interface. So we can click the arrow next to criteria and we can edit the criteria group. And here we've got our different levels. We'll use level three as proficient, level two approaching, level one needs work. And our different criteria, we'll say spelling and grammar, clarity, writing and we'll just say content and save and we can see now we have our different levels um, one of the things I always like to have the top category over to the right so I can come up here and click reverse level order you also have the option to reorder the criteria if you want them in a different area um, you can add criteria and you can add levels you can also add a criterion group um, this group is just called criteria but you can actually add multiple groups within this rubric so you can get a pretty large rubric going uh, the other thing to point out is down here you can set the overall score so once you've got the rubric set here um, talon will assign an overall score an overall level to it so it may be beneficial to come in here and edit these overall levels to match the levels above. So we can say level one, zero needs work. And you can s custom set levels for this as well um, with, the, with the ranges here so that you determine what the students will 
and you can actually set these numbers here as well so you determine which one of these levels these students sees based on this number of points. If you want to put uh, descriptions or explanations within the rubric boxes you can actually just click on the arrow next to one of the levels and you can click on edit level you can also do that next to the criterion so we can actually edit criterion here and now we're going to see for each level what's the description. So you can add a description, no, almost, and we can see what that looks like. So we've got the description in there and the students will see this too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this and my rubric has now been saved. Here's my cat assignment rubric. So now I want to actually go apply this to a grade item. Um, there's two places to apply it. You can apply it under course content on the grade item. You can also apply it in the grade book. Um, the problem is students won't see it both places. So when we first go in here and we're going to apply it to a grade item, we'll go to course admin, we'll go to assignments, Okay, so I'm here on, here's all my assignments. So I'm gonna come down here to CAD Assignment 1. This one is actually already tied to the gradebook. And I'm gonna edit submission folder. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna click on Add Rubric. And there's my CAD Assignment Rubric, so I'll select that, click Add Selected. So I've added my CAD Assignment Rubric and I'm gonna go ahead and set this as a default scoring rubric too. And I'm gonna save and close. So now the rubric's attached to this assignment. Um, so when the students come in and view the assignment, they'll actually see the rubric down at the bottom. And when you go in to grade the assignment, they'll see the rubric within the assignment and the comments. They will not, however, see the rubric in the grade book. You can also attach this rubric to the grade item. So I would recommend maybe doing that too. The problem is that the students will not see the same rubric that you filled out under the assignment within the grade item. So you actually have to either fill it out twice or um, it's actually probably more recommended that you fill it out under the grade book because the students will see that under grades. So I'm gonna click on the arrow there. I'm gonna click on edit grade item and I'm gonna attach it here as well. And save and close that. And now it's attached there too.